Hello, guys and gals, animal friends, and spirit pals. Welcome or welcome back to the Spirit Whisper channel. Channel. Thank you for being here, you guys and gals, boys and girls. Thank you so much for joining me. My name's Mark, or the Spirit Whisperer. I am a um, conscious voice channel for spirit. Uh, the spirits that I commune with, or at least that's my view of it, are Jesus, Dwal Cool, and Pan the Man. Those are my guides that work with me on this channel. And um, I'm psychic, um, clairaudient, and an animal whisperer. I was also a zookeeper for 30 years at the Los Angeles Zoo and have communicated with lots and lots of animals over the years. So tonight, these are taped videos and these are just little videos where I get out my tarot cards, do a little tarot a tickling on current events and politics, don't you know? So that's what this is. I do have uh, two regularly scheduled live shows every single week. And I've been doing them for about three years now. Every Monday at 2 o'clock, we do free readings on animals, pets, nature. I see. say we, because I do that show with my buddy Debbie from Free Bird Spirit, and we go back and forth. One week it's on my channel, one week it's on hers. So like after that, that's always at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, no matter which channel it's on. And then every Saturday, I work with my guides. I work with my guides on Monday too. But on Saturday, we do Ask Anything Day. And so that's another live show that you can tune into if you're around at 4 o'clock Eastern. And we'll take questions on anything on that day. So it's two days every week of free we re readings, of free readings on my channel. Uh, now, in addition to that, I quite often either go on other people's channels. Some of my beautiful friends are on YouTube. I'll go on their channel now and then and read with them. Uh, and also have others on my channel. So, you know, there's other things spread in there. But always, Saturdays at 4, Mondays at 2. Those are regular. Unless some unforeseen, godforsaken circumstance were to come up. But in all the years I've been doing those, maybe I've had to cancel 5 total. All right, so tonight, <laughs> we're going to have some fun and do some tarot tickling and, you know, look at some this and some that. And I know how you guys are. You like to tag along and play with me. Maybe get out your cards and read along or cook dinner while you're listening to my rantings or hugging your pets. Mine are all snooze, and I got one cat sitting here on the computer top. You can't see her. It's Pippa. Got my little one back there. There's her little butt. There's her little head. Little buttercup. And, of course, got my Alaska back there. Buttercup's got me falling out of my chair today. Nothing new. So they're here grounding me, as always. Okay, let's get started. I got a few questions. People asked me a couple questions um, from the last time, last video, so I'll see if I can address a couple of those. Somebody wanted to know if Marjorie Taylor Greene uh, might be going to jail next year. Hmm, we don't know. We do hope she gets what's karmically coming to her. I wish that very one, that they have the karma they deserve, you know, and have earned. There you go. That's a better way to say it. So we'll look at that. I hope you guys noticed, uh, well, not that I like the news exactly, but Judge Mershon did postpone 
the sentencing, like spirit and the tarot card said to me when I read on it, that it was going to be postponed. Um, but then I read on it a second time because some viewers were like, oh, there's no way possible, Mark, that would ever happen. It's not even possible. He won't postpone it. So then I read on it again, and it still looked like it was going to be the postpone, but I was trying to, like, say, or maybe he's just going to say it, but the sentencing is postponed. But still, because I was trying to, you know, make everybody happy. But still, it was postponed, just like Spirit and the Tarot cards said it was going to be. So I got to give them props whenever they get it. Because the other thing, too, you know, guys, when I'm interpreting or, um, you know, passing the word along from spirit and the draw cards, even when spirit, when I'm channeling, spirit comes through and what they talk about, it always seems very immediate, you know, to me. And even when I'm reading it, it seems like, oh, that's going to happen right away. But sometimes it's it's farther down the road. Um, even though it feels very immediate when I'll read on something. Now, you know, and so and the other thing is things can change. Free will choice does have a lot to do with staff. So let's look at Marjorie Taylor Green. Do we see her maybe uh, doing the jailhouse rock next year? I do feel like she has some karmic return on the way. Let's see what this says. I don't think she's... What, is she a senator? Or is she a car? I don't really think she's there for long. She's so horrible, of course. You know how like attracts like, then all those hideous people. Well, I don't know if she's going to go to jail, according to these here cards. She got the two pinnacles upside down. Um, so that means, to me, she loses her balance and falls off her position. So that's like losing her job, her footing, her um, platform to mouth off. That would be like uh, not doing so good. It would be just like what I just said. And then she also got the Six of Swords, leaving, leaving on a jet swan. Some will be happy and I am one. There she goes. Look, her driver is a ghost. Leaving her all alone on a boat by herself, sailing away sail away and then the world in this case it's a fine ending card she gets to kind of do it too in front of everybody it's doubly good because you know we're moving into the age of the woman and she's going to have this embarrassing downfall during this time so all three of those cards look like, oops, downfalls are coming for Margarine Tater Greens. Uh, and then, give me the King of Cups, which is going to uh, substitute for the Democratic Party. So it's talking about this is going to happen, you know, after the election, when the Demis are in control. I don't I didn't see jail in those cards. But it looks like no longer being in our face. 
you know, leaving. Toodaloo. Okay. Now somebody, why's my shirt falling off? Somebody else asked me, uh, yeah, if they, if, um, spirit or cards think Trump will flee the country. And if he does, will we go get him? I really have never read on this, strangely enough. I don't think. I don't remember having read on it. Let's change deck. I'll get this nice orangey red deck for him. Do we see Trump fleeing? First of all, I think it'll be hard because they're going to be watching him. And I think it'll be difficult. And a lot of places he might go would immediately send him back. But let's see. There's also this idea that, I, I don't know. I keep kind of seeing him being incapacitated or something where he wouldn't be able to coordinate that or something. Okay, let's see. Do we see him trying to flee? He'll flee. Now those cards were not very definitive. Let me just pull a couple more and I'll still show you those, but what? Dumpster, try to leave the country. Get the heck out of Dodge. Do we see that happening? Can you, this last card, would you please be very clear, not namby pamby? If possible, I would appreciate it. Okay. Okay. There's that one on the bottom. Of course there is. Okay. All right. <laughs> My general feeling is it probably won't get to that. I think it's an idea and one he's thought of and like that his family's thought of and people have thought of it's like an option but in that case he depends a lot on the kindness of strangers here's like the six of pentacles um, you know you need charity you need help it's a back and forth you know, somebody's going to have to want to take him and keep him. Um, there's that. And it's next to this upside down uh, Seven of Wands. He doesn't have a lot of defenders. You know, there's he's running out of people that would be on his side. I mean, I guess maybe go to North Korea or 
you know, Russia, but I don't know that he'd like it or even that they would take him. And then the other thing is this Page of Pentacles. Look, they got the eye on the prize on Mr. Moneyhead. You know, he's being watched, I feel like, um, pretty carefully. You know, they suspect that's in his pocketbook plans. He'd like to go because, you know, there's no love spared. He's not feeling loved. And so he's kind of, you know, feeling rock bottom. Here's the thing I've been hearing too, guys, is now we're in this phase of this energy that's gripping on to like that dark, um, keep things, you know, limited, um, people, you know, oppressed, um, just the dark, the dark side of energy and those that are, you know, embracing it and saying that's what we want and all that, they're going, it's going, it, they're losing the grip, it's, we're watching it melt away. Did you ever see the Wizard of Oz? They throw water on her. She's like, I'm melting, I'm melting. What a world, what a world. That's kind of what we're watching. Except it's an old shriveled up Satsuma instead of a green witch. So then I pulled some other cards because that looked a little bit rah, rah, rah. So he would like to do that. That is an idea that's, you know, burning bright. In a perfect world, he would like that to happen. Gather up all of his burdens and go a running. Now, see, this looks a lot more like I'm about to run. But I get the world. Again, this can be an ending, the end, a big time ending. There may be an ending before he can run. He runs into an ending, not a new beginning. And then we get this Six of uh, Swords again. It was after the end. Uh, but interesting, now, I don't know. You know, I've always felt that he might not make it or something. I don't know why. I don't know if it's health or mental but I felt like he might not make it. So this reminds me of like, you know, the river sticks with the, a ghostly apparition accompanying you to calmer waters. Which kind of goes along with that. I'm heading with my burdens, but I might meet an end before then. So, to wrap it up, I don't think it will get to that point of him leaving. I think it's something he's thought about and stuff like that, and there might even be a big plan for it. Um, but I don't think that's going to happen. And then on the bottom of that deck, I forgot to show you this, that was just when I was getting ready to put them up, is ye old four of swords, the coffin card, yet again. This keeps coming up. which kind of hints at and might not make it to that stage. Like you have to pull back. You have to recuperate. You have to lay the hell down. I don't know if you're able to run in this with this card. So that's what we got on that. Hope it was helpful. I can't remember who asked me a lot, of course. Um, let's look. Now, it's looking like, for all intents and purposes, 
that there will be a debate on the 10th between Kamala and the shriveled Satsuma. Um, which is like a little tangerine, in case you didn't know. So let's see how that debate, let's just, here's my question. <clears throat> What's the energy around Kamala and the debate? How does it go for Kamala? Let's say that. That's my first question. How does the debate go for Kamala? How does Kamala do at the debate? What's the outcome like for her? Okie dokie. Let's do three, maybe four cards. I'll see after I do three. Okay, let's do one more for Kamala. All right. First of all, you know, you know, how's it going to go for her? How's the energy around her with the debate? First card she gets, three of cups, right side up. That's like celebration, bration. Boy, why can't I talk? celebrating uh, particularly women you know we've said before this time is a lot about women coming into power it's really about the everyday people coming into power you know normal regular you and me people but also it's important for women to stand up because of the hideous oompa loompa and try and take their rights away. So I think women are going here, here. It was a big win for us. They love her even more. Even more ready to support, come out, vote for her. Second thing, so that's that three. The second thing she gets is the three of wands. Now, the thing about this is great. I love this picture on here. Um, so normally, you know, they're facing the ships and it's like waiting for your ship to come in. In this one, she already knows her ship's coming. She's got some things to do before they get here. Some things to finish up, to tie up. She don't need to stand there and wait. They're coming. She's aware. She can get us some other stuff done. Look, she's got her list in her hand or he. Love it. Um... Then the world, and in this world, a lot of times I would call, I might say it's an ending, but in this one, there's two people in there embracing. There's this loving embrace, partnership, new beginning coming up from the debate. You know, I think she does... She, she presents herself well balanced, you know. And she comes across as a full picture. And someone that you would like to partner with. And I also think she does well with young, young people. Uh, they go from the debate, she inspires young people to take action. Page of Swords. You know, Swords is air, communication, but communicating, you know, voting. Inspires young people to vote. To make their, to herald, to make their um, position known. So all those cards look really good for her. I would say, that looks great. Now let's do some for Mr. Oompa. I know, Buttercup, you're pushing me in the floor today. Mr. Oompa. How does it look like the debate will look for him? 
I'm wondering how it'll be for him. The Oompa Loompa do. Loompa Loompa do. Oompa Loompa do. Oompa Loompa, Oompa Loompa. How's it go for him? Cards. What's the outcome of this debate? For the dumpster. You know, he doesn't know how to, um, you know, talk to women or be with women or be around women. So, you know, debating one, you don't know how to do that either. Remember with Hillary, how horrifying that was? Pretty sure I won't be able to watch it because I can't stand him. So I'll probably have to just catch the updates. Unless it's something really great happening, I might have to watch that. So... He's going to be on the defensive the whole time. Uh, him and his little lap dog, BJ Vance. They're both going to be in the hot seat. Like, not only being him being attacked, but also Vance being attacked. He feels um, this is interesting, King of Cups, that you know he feels his energy being drained or love leaving. He doesn't feel loved. Let's put it that way. He might also try to attack Joe or something, uh, but that doesn't fly because Joe's not running. But I feel like he might try to bring him up or something like that. Um, lots of his deeds about money and just his deeds in general uh, are going to be brought up. I'm going to say his dirty deeds, his convictions, his, um, all of that's going to be brought up for all to see, because Kamala's going to have it all ready. Now, in this uh, three of pentacles, you know, usually there's three people here. Oops, there's not. There's just the one looking for people. This makes me think about a voting booth and oops, there's not, there's maybe one coatless guy that might be voting, but where's the other two? So it's like um, losing votes, losing voters, people deciding not to show up. Because normally in this card, you're all there ready to support. They're, they're not arrived yet or they've left they've already come and gone not great and then the final outcome for him there he goes walking away the guy in the little orange cape back there uh, eight of cups you know leaving getting the heck out of town as fast as possible and you know I like that it's the woman left behind looking in the cup 
this debate goes better for women and the, uh, the stuff that comes out about women does not help him. So when you compare the two sets, There's really no comparison. And you know, sometimes you can look at things a little differently, like you could look at this like, uh-oh, I wish I'd studied or worked or prepared. Here I am. Oops. I don't I don't have any good examples or anything. Because I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty much a disaster. Because you can't really make a coherent sentence. You know, he's really bad. So, on that topic, you know, I way back, Spirit told me, shared with me, that it looked likely possible that there would be an event like thing where Trump was in front of people on camera and kind of have a brrr, you know, like a meltdown. Um, Like, ar, ar, don't I can't compute or like falling apart or something like that, but in front of people where it's very, you know, dramatic and obvious and not good. So it always felt like a medical, mental kind of event. And, you know, they talked about it being in like a bigger event where a lot of people are watching. So I'm wondering if we're talking about this uh, debate. Because I also got, when I was looking at um, the possibility of a debate between Walls and Vance, that um, something about this debate might affect whether or not that one happens, which I don't know what that means. But it definitely felt like somehow they were related. And I thought it was because something didn't go great with Trump. But let's see. That could be something little, you know. I don't know. So, Spirit, is that... Does it look like he might have an event, a medical event, uh, during the debate on camera for everybody to say, I'm just going to ask it like that. Can you give me any clarity? Am I allowed to see? Please, please let me know one way or another. Could be at another event. I don't know. Maybe it'll never happen, but I sure do see something. And I've always felt like as we get closer to the election, he's like incapacitated or something. You know, like that Four of Swords all the time where he's laying on the coffin. Okay. Okay. Pull one more. Cards are so bold and brazen. That they're not really um, screwing around. <laughs> oh God. Uh, sometimes even with my best intentions not to go along with some wacky vision I've had. Cards won't let me. So the first card I get is the Five of Swords upside down. I'm going to interpret this as mental confusion. Swords are mental energy, mind, communication, words, expression, mind, thought. Upside down. You know, that's also like bully, Mr. Bully Face. 
but I don't even know if he's able to get his bullying out. Something's wrong. There's confusion there in the mind. The next card, Ten of Swords. A downfall. His own words and thoughts and mind stabbing him in the back, taking him down. And it was upside down too. I forgot to tell you. So, down. Fall. Could even fall down. Something. If something like that happens, then you guys need to put me up on a pedestal or something. Uh, anyway, then I get the strength upside down. Like he's not, there's like, energy you know he's seen as weak not strong not healthy all of it's missing and for the outcome the devil of course the devil's always close when I do readings for the Orange Oompa Loompa. So that could be like your addictions, your craziness bringing you down. Being on display, catching on fire. So so much upside down so because it's also oh, oh, you know energy their cards always come upside down there's always the devil there's always bullying lying cheating stealing so I don't maybe you guys could interpret these different bully mental confusion bringing you down stabbing you in the back um, this could be like you know death but certainly knocking, knocking the wind out of you. Uh, being weak, showing weakness, and the devil up to no good during the debate. Or the devil shows himself through his um, surrogate. So I don't know how else to interpret that, but we will see, I guess. But that makes me think that some kind of a incident happens that's a little you know, above the norm, and it's not good, and that maybe he has an incident or something, or he can't, he, has to stop, or something, or maybe nothing happens, but those cards were very interesting, and you know, I don't know much another way to interpret those. Okay. We'll see, spirit. You keep talking to me about that. Was it going to come into being or not? He's still got a few days. Maybe he'll avoid it somehow. Uh, we're, we're running a little long. Let's see. Do we see... Hunter Biden uh, being pardoned. In my opinion, he ought to be. I don't see any reason why. Joe shouldn't do it. That's what you get to do when you're the president. Look, who Oompa Loompa pardoned? Criminals. So, will Hunter Biden have to go to jail or would he be pardoned? It's all such a big old load of crap I don't mean that he doesn't need to be held responsible for anything he did but the way it's gone about it's way out you know no one else would have to go through this 
will he be pardoned? Outcome, please. Outcome. I see all the story, but I'd like to know how it ends up. Yeah. Hmm. Well, it's not giving me up. Okay, that one looks a little better. First of all, it's the chariot, which would say, you know, things are moving fast. Like he jumped up and said, you know, I, I'm i guilty. Let's move this along. I don't want my family to have to go through it any longer. Let's get it moving. And so they are. So it is moving pretty quickly. But my question is, will he be... Um, you know, pardoned. Feels like it won't be immediately. It'll be slow. So you get the four of coins. Like, there's a pot, like, um, you can't move into a new area because you're still focused on this old crap kind of a thing. And then waiting on the shore for the um, ship to come in. So that makes me think there has to be, a, there's a pause, there's a waiting period. But I think justice, justice, real justice, got that sword there too, will win out, which means, look, it's even, it's fair, it's just. So I don't, and ultimately, the Knight of Swords comes in, there's the bird, and rescues him. So I think he will, but there might be a little bit of a, it won't be immediately. And that could have, this makes me think Joe might do it, but because it's a knight, Kamala might do it. But I think he will. I think in the end... Uh, he won't be faced with an unfair outcome. I don't know if they can, I guess they can appeal a verdict, I mean, uh, appeal a uh, sentencing or something, like Trump does. But it feels like there's something that stalls it, or there's a waiting period between now when the chariots are all running and the final outcome. Let's do one more while we're here. I had a few more on here, but I'm, let's just do one more. Uh, let's just do one more kind of, um, I think it'll be a nice outcome, so I'm going to read that. Could be fooled, you never know. Um, do the Democrats win the election? Oh, cards. Do the Democrats win the election? Oh, man. Arthritis and shuffling. Don't mix all that good. I gotta tell you. Oh, for frick a frack a frack a frack. Well, I just threw all my cards in the floor. Why? 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 Okay. There you go, Matt. 
one. And it wasn't just one or two. It was like, you know, half the deck. So I'm going to cut them. Do the Democrats win the election? Don't get nervous, cards. Don't go jumping out of my hand. Do they win? upside down what's the and the whole deck up so is this right side up yeah after I threw those in the floor they all got discombobulated do do the Democrats win the election so one card jumped out this time, and it's the Queen of Wands. Who's that? That's my Kamala card. She goes back and forth between Wands and Swords. Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands. She's a Libra, which makes sense with the Queen of Swords because she's all about truth, justice, fairness, balance, but also she's inspirational. She's... Spiritual leader, Queen of Wands, too. So that's card jumped out. And that would make me say, yes, but let's just pull two more for fun. Since that one just jumped out. Jumping, jumping, jumping. Yep, 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 yep. And I'm hacking. <coughs> okay. Right. Queen of Wands. That would tell me that's the winner. Our lovely Kamala Harris. Ten of Coins. She wins by a lot. There's lots of vo votes. See if we can get that a little more focused. Can you see it a little better? Yeah, that's good. Um, look at there. And here's another vote. Even though your little jar there is pretty full. I think she wins by a lot. Ace of Cups. Yes. Um, this reminds me that it's a yes for that joy and love energy. There, it's a big yes. The people embrace, uh, you know, it's the lovers, love energy. Just getting the lovers card in to the Democratic Party win, that would be a yes. And again, I get this card telling me that they win by a lot, like three to one in this card. Here's like JD and I mean, BJ and Trumpy looking at their vote count. Oh, it's kind of sparse. Meanwhile, the Dems are getting cupfuls down here. So, yes, according to those cards. I'm going to look at it as often as I want to. And I'm going to let it tell me yes as often as it wants to. To rest our weary heads in our weary minds because the news tries to drive us crazy. So, what did we learn? <laughs> Besides that I'm nutty. Well, we learned that the debate will um, come out 
is a win for Kamala, it looks like. There does seem, the cards and spirit seem to be whispering in my ear that some kind of weird medical event might happen. Don't hold me to it. I'm just telling you what I read in the cards. Um, in front of everybody on camera, and this might be the time. We'll see. Um, so we learned that. We learned that Marjorie Taylor Greene is probably not long for um, the government. Um, we learned that Trump probably won't have the wherewithal to flee, that it won't get to that point. I think we learned that. Did we learn anything else? We learned that Hunter uh, will probably might be pardoned, but there'll be it'll be a bit. And we learned that Democrats are going to win the election. Thank you very much. Uh, we didn't learn this today, but we should know it already, that I love you guys. Big old fat, bushel and a peck. And uh, I can't hug you, but I'll give my dog a hug around the neck. Okay? Uh, I love you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for hitting the like button. Thank you for checking out some of the other things I do here on the channel. Thank you for subscribing, for all your love and support. I do appreciate it. And I'll be um, seeing you again real soon. Bye.